was uh, a question mark now. They may be satisfied reaching the, the semi final and they, they won a medal, which is a very, very good performance. But uh, they played with wonderful energy in the rounds before, and if we see that, we will see some fireworks as well. We're well, certainly looking forward to that. Pietro De Pinto, the umpire, just checking that he's got the right players. Of course, they have had their uh, rackets checked as well. We've had a few incidents. In fact, uh, one of the Korean pairs actually annihilated the uh, Chinese Joe at one stage, 4-0. But then, in checking afterwards, they found that their rackets were illegal. They had an extra sort of little millimeter or so of uh, rubber attached and they were disqualified so that's so all very very important and impressive that there is a level playing field here it's um, it's a wonderful wonderful atmosphere inside this very very impressive ahoy stadium in rotterdam they put on a great show for us we've had uh, super support and uh, really enjoyed the week it's um, it's certainly building up to a really good climax. Expectation is great here because later on today, of course, on this uh, this particular TV table, we're going to get Timo Boll as well, and a lot expected of him. Anyway, you, um, you will be very, very keen to try to put one over on his very illustrious counterpart from China. The, the great thing is you just made reference, Michael, to the fact that they have a great uh, uh, team ethic what impresses me as much as anything is the fact that they will work for each other and there will be disappointments but they take it on the chin don't they they they, they will accept anything that the coach says and obviously there's going to be a justification but they get on with the business it's a very very peculiar to asia and peculiar to china situation i mean we've had some incidents with different countries that really, you know, they get very, very uptight and they get uh, annoyed with everybody but themselves. You know, it's a, it's a different culture. And I, I think the Chinese are very disciplined. They accept, you know, their position, that they're not infallible. They've got so many talented people at the top. And if they are replaced or if there are different uh, viewpoints, they accept it and get on with life. It's, uh, it's a very different perspective. And I certainly it helps them. It's your... That is so true because, uh, in fact, they uh, they come with that kind of respect to the sport, and, and they they realize also how you know the dynamics of selections and so on. It seems like now look at Susin here, for example. Now he lost in the singles yesterday, as you, as you said, and it, it might be disappointed. It it will be a key, I think, for the Koreans to try to kind of challenge him. I mean, it's early early in the morning here in Rotterdam. You may, you know. I felt that disappointment and it's always difficult to, to come back mentally and First let's game, see what happens. Right, here we go, semi-finals, men's doubles, Rotterdam World Championships. So it's in, of course, looking at the very, very conventional left-hander here on the right of the table. Important serve for Jung Sik who started a little bit nervous, you know, put a very soft serve first and now he got one and that was important for him. Make that statement early, put the pressure on both pairs are trying to do that. It's an uh, important stage, this early one. He's in immaculate form, though. I see Marlon putting pressure on. He's on the left of the table. That suits in right there. It, uh, started well, considering uh, he might have a few doubts. Two, two, three. A little bit of luck for Jung Jung Sik at a soft uh, four on there. And uh, the Korean seem a little bit... That ball there is not the greatest. You see, Susin had that point, really, but made a mistake. Four two. Marlon with the serve. Four two. 
Five, two. You see, this is uh, this is now, you know, a lot of nerves from the Koreans. They don't really get into this game right away. Then they will be problem. But of course, you nowadays play best of best of seven, so it's not a, a very urgent situation. But uh, I would have hoped that they they come out flying, and and obviously they need to find the rhythm. Yeah, it's uh, looking pretty ominous at the moment. Uh, nerves of one thing, but being able to cope with what's being thrown at you, it's pressure, isn't it? It's difficult. 2-7. And again. Just that little something extra they have. So it's in. And they'll serve at 8-2. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> He turned himself inside out. A full revolution. Watch this one. Whoosh. And there's no way that Young Sik was going to be able to get near that one. Fantastic for 9-2. And the Chinese have started with an absolute ambition to annihilate their opponents. It's 2-10. Uh, it's game points. Here we go, it's 11-2. You cannot believe that. A perfect start for the Chinese duo of Ma Long and Su Sin, and particularly Su Sin has recovered well from that shot from yesterday. Seems like that, and um, obviously they got a lot, I say for free, but uh, they got a lot of easy points here because of a few mistakes. And of course, you know, it's a, such a pressure point in doubles is to, to serve well and return well. And if you don't get that game in order, then you're in trouble already because you're not really, you're not scoring any points. You're just going to pick up the balls because, uh, and there, there comes the confidence and, and really the ability to be be 100 percent aggressive i mean these koreans are it's a great double pair they can they can really play but of course for their confidence they need to score some spectacular points or some good points and it's not possible sometimes you don't get to that point if you're not controlling your your nerves and keeping your service and returning short well they are communicating well as i said they warmed up well they were moving with very, very good uh, style in warm-up, frighteningly quick. And I think their whole game has been built on speed. And let's just see whether they're milliseconds ahead of the opponents in the second, second game. game. They've taken the first in no time at all. Four minutes in the first. It's 1-0 in games. And he anticipated that well. To mere mortals, you would have thought that was already gone, but he saw that it might just come back. This is very clever, Susin. Uh, it's very well played also, but they the left the right hand pair, like Susin, Malong works, and they're four on all the way. He just did well to get the, a backhand touch on that from... It's almost a block, he couldn't do much with it, but the speed of reaction... So impressive, it's uh, love to zero two. Love three. Hmm, what do you do? Difficult. Unity and concentration. We saw that shot at the beginning there together. It was unbelievable. Yes, Michael. And now they have played two good points, like, uh, two good rallies, the Koreans, and didn't score a point. So obviously, you, you know, it's, not, <laughs> it's not the greatest feeling, I can tell you that. They're not looking totally hopeless, but they are looking helpless at the moment. It's just a barrage of big, big hits. Unbelievable, but they've managed to score the first point in the second game, much to the approval of the Korean squad, but at 1-5, they need to get a few more of those. Min Siuk is uh, looking a little bit pensive. And that's why, goodness me, Su Sin 
That's why everybody felt that he was absolutely nailed on to win in the singles. He's just got such great talent. So at least a little bit of a shot maker. Kim and Sok has not been really in, in this game and and he's a great scorer actually because he has, his shot making capacity is, is very good and but so far not active enough. Seven, two. That one really bit and bounced. Seven two. It's such a quick push, too, as well, isn't it? That, it? Take the ball early, no chance at all to recover. 2-8. Left. 2-8. 2 9 You don't really know, quite know what to suggest here, do you? It's... Uh, there's lots of action on that ball from the service. Side, under, top, there's all kinds of action. And that is now game points. It's 10-2. My goodness. It's the same, same story as the first game. Ten, three. Just missed that one, though. A bit anxious. Four, ten. Oh, okay. He's not going to score every single point in the whole of his career, is he? But he's still disappointed. Look at that. <laughs> That's eleven, it. Four. It's 11 4 in the Game second. Two. And you could oh, say oh, quite three. easily that that is probably not only a fair reflection of the game. It's the total dominance of the Chinese duo is something to behold. They are not number one seeds for nothing. Yeah, and they, I'm sure the Chinese team, as you said before, they had a video cameras out the few, <laughs> last few rounds. It's a lot of tactics in double, especially when you have two right-handers playing together. Now there's a great advantage, obviously, being a left and, and, and right, as Mali, uh, Malong and, and uh, Susin. They can work their forearm, and they are so fast, so they, they, they come out and they have that forearm position almost all the time. And uh, the Korean pair here you know, displays a little bit, especially Kim min Sook have not been, been into the game, and he is the, the, the better scorer of the two. I think Yung Sun Yik has a great, you know, tight game and so on, but normally... Kim Yang Sok needs to be much better in order to have any any kind of chance, and, and that's uh, one of the problems. You see, they run around a little bit here, and and then are coming late to the balls, and and that's the whole thing. The dynamics in doubles is that you really have to be moving so well, even when your your uh, double partner is playing. So Yu Nam Q is putting some notes in his. Book maybe for the future, maybe Thank for this to, to try to save this match. Level. Well, he's got to really get something going soon. It's love to in games. Love mm, never one. missed it. It's not, it's every facet of the game. Then right on. Ah, now there are the notes. Now, how's your Korean? <laughs> well, I can see a draw. <laughs> I, I understood the uh, the lines. It's happening time and time again, and of course, the more it happens, the more deflated they become. It's very difficult. And young sick there with just the slightly coloured hair. He's going to have a slightly coloured face a little bit later if he doesn't pick up a few points. Oh, dear. Yeah, what you do against <laughs> those kind. Of, you know, that, that that is, you know, if we had any any doubts about Susie, look at this one here when he really. That's almost an impossible shot because he's dropping away almost under the table to pull it up. It's Long too goal. quick, it's too fast. They're making a great combination. My goodness me. This is going to give the Chinese administration and management a real headache to choose for the Olympics. Because these guys, of course, with a year to go, they're probably fixing the final duos, I would think. I had much better movement from Jung Jung-sik, and actually, as soon as the ball comes out to that 
area. Two, you, um, you have a chance because you get more time. But, and then they followed up with a nice, nice backhand cross from uh, Kim min -Sok. And he needs that. 4-2. Ma Long. Four, three. Nice to see the yeah. elevation starting to show yes, a little bit. And very, very nice back end by, by New Young Sick. Low and, and a lot of wrist action. Well, that is a very brave performance in the third game. They've woken up. I'm not sure that they have the talent to go on and win this but at least it's giving the crowd something to cheer about it's four all in the third and the lady with the orange hat she's been here every day and we've always had a cutaway of her four, five. you see that's the difference in quality because that was a soft flick by by kim in sock and if you play that, like that you will never ever score the points you need, mm -hmm. need to be much much tougher over the table he seems to hesitant hesitant to to or Hesitating a little bit to, to put power on the ball. That was better, much better variety. They actually worked as a really, really good uh, pair, opening up the opportunity. Sorry. Must be a daunting task for a youngster like that to come not only playing against the world's number one seed, but to be in a position where you know you are you there are expectations on them that's the the other thing of course the korean press will be wanting them to do really really well so it's tough for youngsters five six That's great because it's a slow ball. It's not hard down to the record of, of, of I believe, Malong, but it's a slow attack and they're showcasing at least a little bit of these qualities that brought them here. And that's very nice. Let's see now, really, really, if they can be sharp in their own service. Seven, six. I missed that one. But what you're suggesting, Michael, is that they're actually thinking about how to get through. You know, taking, actually, Taking speed off the ball is sometimes very much more difficult. <laughs> nice flick from from Jung Jung Sik that you know fooled Susin just a little bit, and now they are getting a few mistakes here and there from the from the Chinese, and that's what we would like to see. Now they are 2-0 down in games, so that would be the start you would have hoped for. But at least they're in the match now; they're showing that they can play. Crowd will start murmuring in a minute. Oh, gee, look at that. We're watching oh. gymnastics. Oh. That is the absolutely perfect rally. It was one with a brilliant, brilliant shot. There was no fault there. Look at this. We even, what's the turnaround there? It was almost a, a 10 out of a 10 for a, a gymnastic role as well. But look at that shot. Unbelievable there from Kim Min Seok. You told us earlier he's the guy that wins the points. Goodness me, what a way to do it. I love it. Oh, you do? Wow. It takes uh, a big, big rally to please Michael Anderson, I tell you. I've been with him a while. It's fantastic. 10 6. I'm easily pleased. Michael is a very tough taskmaster. When he says that, that is. Perfect. Four game points, career. And they've got it. It's 11 6. What a change of fortunes. They're putting pressure on and showing the style that we've seen earlier. 
exactly that they're showing that they can they can score the point and you see the game came out to them a little bit and they, they got a little bit extra time and, and the Chinese maybe relaxed just a little bit in service and returning and and then you know the rallies are starting to happen and, and, and sometimes it is that easy for a young pair pairing like this that they need need to score some good points they need to show that they can can play for everybody here and for all the TV cameras and, and stuff like that so that takes away a little bit of the pressure you know double is a tough game and, and if you only for a young player to, to deal with this service and return the tactics all the time it can be tough you you want to you wanna put on some fireworks as well unbelievable fireworks right there wow it, it's it's not this one it's the next one he's got to come back to the front, middle table that's the great thing but that is extraordinary. Look at the movement on the boy. No, it's still going. Right, we took it a bit earlier. And then here comes the thing. That's the one. Okay. Wow. I mean, we saw it in super slow mo. It was uh, so impressive. Wow. Both teams going at it tooth and nail. Look at that turnaround as well. Wow. Gymnastics. Yeah. Worth playing time. Gymnastics time entering table tennis. Unbelievable. <laughs> Fantastic. It tells you a little bit about the physical conditioning. It does. Absolutely. Okay, here we go. We've got a match here. We've now got a match here, and suddenly that parallel backhand is required from Ma Long. Watch this one. That was a great read and, and, and you know, anticipation. And Scored a wonderful point. They are challenging though, and they're getting excited uh, uh, by it. They know if they play their best, they've got a chance. Now, keep uh, that momentum. Those kind of points will come back and hurt you later because it really has to be on the table, so you force the Chinese pairing to, to do something with the ball. You cannot just give that one away. This is part of the problem for Kim Min Sook when you see him in singles as well. You know, he is drifting in and out in the matches and he still has work to do to be sharp. That was so clever. Left that one so late when he said he's going to be sharp. He's also very, very well. That was a super disguise. Put it long in the corner after waiting, waiting, waiting. unlucky he just drifted a little bit perhaps too far left there but um well, not yeah. an approval and i think yeah i would do that uh, as well because they they're at least they're showing now that they're, they're in the game and they can they score those nice points and or do is, is their game is do they have the game to stay close that's the question Two, two, three. So also the order of play does have a, a great effect in double. So you know, you know back to actually the start of the match. Five, three. He's missed that push down the line this time, Marlong, but he's they've still got a a little cushion of two. Um, it's really good to see at least they put on a bit of a performance here whether they can go and challenge even closer maybe maybe this will lift their spirits and that's what exactly what Kim and Sook has to do he has to, to really work his forearm and get into position because uh, can't stand still and double that's, that's a huge problem Five force is in Let. Let. Five, four. Let fight for second let. Uh, just a little tightening here, so sin. Maybe there will be some moments of not panic, but just a little worry. Oh, not there though. Dynamic stuff. 
Yeah, you see that's uh, exactly what it is, very explosive and two times four on, you know, it's really, really hard to keep that one on, on the table for, for Jung Son Jäck. Oh, you told us it was really, really impressive stuff. Which, again, there it was. Min Siok, we actually followed uh, Jung Sik, but it was uh, Min Siok who delivered that backhand. Oh. That, that one, like, you see, that was tougher again, you know, over the table, it's really much tougher attack and then you were able to play four on the second time so that's exactly what you have to what the kind of positions to score you have to create mm, two winning games six all in the fourth here we go aye 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 oh <laughs> <laughs> this time it's Marlon that has the last laugh, but I tell you, it really is magnificent stuff. It's coming, look at that. To be able to control that one right in the corner from Sushin was brilliant. Yeah, that one sat up just a bit too much, but there you go. Good, excellent. The crowd are very knowledgeable. A lot of have, have come from the countries around Europe, but they know a lot about this great game. They, uh, Privilege to see two great Asian pairs here. Seven all. And now it's they they moved into position now to to challenge for to take this game. Although Please, two sorry. services now from from Jung Jung Sik, you better keep them short because it's not easy to serve against Susin. I can tell you that. The great racket work, isn't it? I mean, they just hang there, hang there, and then suddenly explode. It's brilliant. Oh. So tight. Yeah, it's no wonder he's blowing out his cheeks there. He's saying, come on, but... Uh, Gosh, that was so close from a really, really good one. Now they're facing a difficult situation. They've given up two of their own services and now 9-7 in favour of the Chinese. <laughs> oh. 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 They got a rare mistake. I can tell you that the unforced errors from Malone is not, <laughs> it's not really... Um, you're not going to get the Time a out? lot of those wow. points. Time out. Yeah, Julian says, OK, let's, uh, let's make sure we take this 3-1. We don't want to be risking it here now. Strategy. What do you think he's actually saying right now, then, in terms of the strategy, or is he just giving a little break to uh, concentrate a little more? I think, you know, you talk over what kind of serve and what kind of follow-up you would like to have. I mean, I think Malone hesitated a little bit, so... He has in his mind Nigulan where Union 6 return will come. So I think he's just reinforcing maybe that, you know, work your forearm. Malone went in there over the table with the backhand and sometimes it's very effective. But uh, normally to keep your footwork active and, and to keep the place moving all the time, just reinforce that forearm is the game. And that's what you have to work with. So he's just talking that over at the same time. Now, Yunam Q is then discussing a little bit what kind of service on the t on the table from uh, from um, uh, Susie. Uh, it's all about keeping this this return now uh, sharp. You can put it in on the table can, with quality and at least get a chance to to attack first. And Nine, eight. You have the chance. And Junior Six has done a, a few very, very good points with his backhand before. So let's see if he's turning around here and working his backhand. Yeah. Nine, eight. It's nine, eight. A 
at least he was on his way. So now the thing is to see maybe now release a little bit longer the service. Not oh, ho, 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 ho. nine all. Nervy moments for Guo Liang. He called them back to have a chat, but look at this. They were two points in the lead. And that tape came to the rescue of the Korean pair. Nine all in the fourth, and just listen to the crowd. What they think about this is really, really special. So Sin, has he got the mental strength? Certainly got the physical. He's an extraordinary athlete. Oh, that is absolutely super, super scrambling because it was in the hands of the Koreans and they couldn't take it. Yeah, Jung, Jung Sik had, had the opportunity, didn't get the perfect power on that ball when it raised a little bit and couldn't really outpower Malong. That gave him a chance to come back into the rally. So they had all kinds of chances, the Koreans, to, to finish off that point. Now they've got a game point against them at 9-10. Oh, 10 all. Second chance. Can they take the second chance? This would level things up if they could at 2 all. And you wouldn't bet against the Koreans upsetting. It would be an extraordinary achievement. But uh, there's hope in that Korean camp right now at 10 all in the fourth. And a stamp of the left foot there, no wonder for Min Siuk, he was really annoyed with that. Yeah, he just drifted back a little bit instead of staying close. I mean, it was a great thinking, he scored a lot of points like that. But, but he didn't dare to stay close, he just walked off, drifted yeah, yeah, off yeah. a little bit. Well, it's getting very difficult defending the game point. And that is it, it's 12-10, and that really is oh, such a big, big point in this match. Ma Long and Su Tsin came through after a very, very testing time in that fourth game, but at three games to one, they are now very, very much in the box seat. It was a tough time to get them across the line there. Lots of exciting play, 12-10 ultimately, in a fresh-faced Jung Yung Sik, there on the right, he will learn a lot from this experience, there's no doubt at all, but it, they're not out of it yet, but it's going to be very much tougher. Yeah, now, of course, it's a huge mountain to climb because they are under constant pressure, so at the same time, the Chinese pair can, can relax and just work their, their magic, so there's some fantastic points in this match as well. Yeah, absolutely. Extraordinary. That one is not bad, I can tell you that. <laughs> Big hit, down she goes. Wow. Brilliant stuff, very athletic. You talked about the fitness levels. You do not, you cannot compete like this. Ah, now we've got our little test machine here. 53 revolutions per second is the, and that was an underspin, that one there. Team, There's uh, more innovations in technology attempted by the ITF, ITWTF team. We're looking at reaction times and the spin. Actually, we had the reaction time system uh, in Guangzhou, didn't we, for the Volkswagen? But, um, always looking to develop opportunities. 215 nations, and they'll all be watching this one, I can tell you. You're a little bit deflated, your head's down a fraction, a bit annoyed that you didn't take advantage, and that's what happens in the first of the fifth. Aha, oh! uh -huh, that's better. Quick reaction. Fantastic reaching. And I like Jung Jung Sik has played very well, actually. He's, he's, he's keeping the ball perfectly on table and... Just a few mistakes. Kim in Sook still drifting, as we say, in and out of the game, scoring fantastic points. But then 
just didn't oh, get it. <laughs> you are absolutely on the button there because that backhand was unbelievable. Watch the reaction time there, the flick on that. Wow, oh, gee. Fantastic. He's done it again. Both of them combining so well. Okay, now you see now they have a, a different order of play and that plays in, in a lot into the picture here as well. So who are you playing against? Who are you serving against? Uh, and that can give you some uh, advantages at times. Oh. <laughs> Enough of that. I'm annoyed. I don't like to be behind. Crikey. Another one. Oh. <laughs> three, two. Actually, it should. Yeah, three, two. Three, oh. Now you see, when you drop just a little bit of quality in your opening shots, then you get a problem here. He doesn't get really the depth and, and the, the power on that ball. And then, you know, you give a lot of time and then you can move around with your forehand, like so. See, and you outpower uh, the Korean pack. It's a classic left and right game that they're playing, isn't it? The, uh, the lefty coming in with big, big power. Four, three. And uh, Ma Long looking, well, lots of variety and variation, but he's coming in with the backhand down the line very often when he finds that gap. Oh. oh, oh, what's that? Blimey. Well, that could hurt them. Well, he misjudged the ball and, and he was predetermined a little bit what kind of, and there's a time out yeah. there, and it's well taken because, okay, you're down 3 5 1 3, it's a daunting task, but you still have to, you know, just focus on the next few points and make sure that you, you keep yourself in the game, and if it's it's tight then you you still have a chance to get a few mistakes out of your opponent so you know, he the right thing here he, he took a break it's great to see the youngsters coming here i must say there uh, it's been a fabulous week of the tournament there's lots of activities just out and around in the uh, the rooms around this fabulous stadium there's uh, the ITTF Museum, and then there's challenges for the, the, the kids. There's small tables, there's bigger tables, there's, you know, even the pros themselves come in from time to time and, and, and basically mix with a very, very enthusiastic crowd. And, uh, and I must say, it is a festival of sport, isn't it, for table tennis? What they've done here in, in, in the Netherlands, it's, it, I think it's fantastic because they brought in all aspects of, of table tennis. You know, are you a recreational player? You join the table? Are you, are you para table tennis? You're here to play a tournament. And we have some Euro kids training camps going on with 12, Three, 11 year olds. Five. So they really, really brought it this time in terms of promotion and activities. 3 5. Three, Missed that one. Three, six, and... Well, there's no wonder that young lady's smiling. She's carrying the Chinese flag. Too much. They're having to think how they can possibly break down this resistance of the Chinese. And when you've got to think a little bit more, it's just, it's so tough. Instead of basically using stimulus response reaction, trying to think your way through is much tougher. But there's it's a, actually a fantastic shot by, by Kim and so he just went in and cut the ball back suddenly. And, and he has that kind of uh, demeanor that he can do those unexpected things and that will if he can sharpen up his game then oh, that's another Let. one no no it, I, I think it was a, a let Seven, yes. four. Yeah. still it was a good shot yeah absolutely man. superb uh, this is do or die i think it right here at seven four china can take it home right here and, ah that's the do or die and you said it he did it again had to do it twice <laughs> You see, 
almost goes in with a racket, almost flat to the table surface, and it's very, very difficult to read. Okay, it's coming down the line, it's coming across. So. Good attacking shot. Guoye, half of Guoye, and I tell you, even half of Guoye is a brilliant half. He's waiting to come on. Ooh. Yeah, right there he struggled just a little bit out deep on his, in his forehand corner. Of course, they find it all the time and scoring at least four or five points uh, on, out of Kim Min Sok in his deep in forehand. Believe me, Ma Long just absolutely blitzed that one, but it was a super rally again. Look at these boys at it. Goodness. <laughs> <It's down there. laughs> <It's crazy. laughs> Point your toes, you'll get 10 out of 10. Wow, fantastic. He's got 9-5. Needs something special on the backhand, going backwards. He just wasn't in control. And as I say, you and Amkil will definitely want to see a couple more points. And very soon, it's 9-6. 3-1 in games. Two points, we're placing the final. Uh -huh. Well, and sometimes it can be effective to do like that because if you, if you like Kim Min Sok is just taking off some of the pace and just flowing it down a little bit slower, so that means that you have to move uh, towards the ball, and sometimes you're standing in that position waiting. So the enthusiastic response from the crowd is certainly. Wanting more of this, they want Korea to come back. Left, seven, nine. Let's see now if we can keep this this service short. That was certainly, you know, borderline. So I don't, I'm afraid of this serve here. <laughs> well, that is brave. We've got uh, two points in a row for Korea. Well, I'm really quite uh, happy and patient, I guess. He's in a great position at 3-1, but hey, if they just perform a miracle here and win this game, then watch out. It's back on the shoulders of the youngster, Young Sik, 8-9. Oh, yes, he's done it, three in a row. What a time to do it. When the... Executioner's axe is just hanging above your head. He looks up and says, OK, I dare you. Just wait there a while. Fantastic. Uh, such a great fighting phase. <laughs> you know, I wrote that in article already in 2005 when I saw him as a 13-year-old. Maybe one of the best fighting phases. Isn't that one of the greatest things about being in education? That that's, you, you see youngsters come through and delivering their, all their promises. Very rewarding. I know. So Sin has the duty. Ooh, off the tape, it was a millimeter from perfect. But that is now game and match point to Ma Long and Su Sin in this semi-final. You see Kim and so got, got the opportunity there, really outpowered. That that's not a good serve by Su Sin, and it should have been a point absolutely for the Koreans, but he just Again, hesitate a little bit. And okay, match point. Oh, you beauty! Wow, what a forehand from Min Seok. He was off balance, he was trying to anticipate, but look at this. What an interception, you might say. Quick reaction. Oh. Just moved right into position and then it's up with the racket and kind of smashed or flicked the ball down. The crowd would love Korea to come through here. Min Siop. Yeah! And that is one. Here's a chance. Never say die. Resolve. Determination. Fighting spirit. There's nothing better than China versus Korea if you want those qualities coming out. Absolutely. They look as if they should be shopping somewhere 
out in the streets of the cities, but look at this. This is absolutely fantastic. Ten, eleven. Led. Ooh, ooh, close one. But, um, their faces, their youth and their naive faces belie the fact that they are absolutely hard as nails. Oh, oh this, OK. Eleven all and disappointment from Min but and even more <laughs> from uh, Yunam Gyo. Yeah, he, he wasn't too happy with the footwork there, actually. He is... Again, Kim and Sok had a chance, you know, after the great return from Union Sik and couldn't really follow up. And of course, the small margins and, and the difference maybe in this match. 11 all. Young Sik has the duty to put a good one in. Patience. Oh, patience! Wow! And who lost his patience? Ma Long, you'd least expect him. The counter-attacking backhand, it was really, really well short. That shows nerves. Oh, yeah, he was nowhere in nowhere good position there to play that. The ball was coming, rearing up far too high. It's now another game point. Korea, 11-12. They've got it! Wow, that is absolutely superb. It's no wonder that we see Min Seok really punching the air and clenching his fist because there is still hope there. And you saw uh, Oh Sang Yoon and uh, his crowd around him there with a big smile. They've got a chance here. We thought they were down and out when they lost that uh, uh, fourth game for 3-1. But look at this. We'll go to a sixth. And certainly their ambition is well in place. Yeah, and you take away the two first games here where they were really nervous and really not, not into the game at all and, and just gave away a 0-2 deficit. And of course, you, you cost them trouble now, but at least they, they're showcasing something that I, I don't think the, the Chinese pairing necessarily like too much because uh, some of the shots that they are pulling off, it's really intimidating. And you see that backhand from Kim Min Sook, that's kind of the kind of capacity that he has, and you can't really read that. So um, if they kind of dare to play those shots and stay close and be confident and so on. They, they are showcasing uh, some, some very, very difficult qualities to deal with for the Chinese. Wow. We haven't seen him with that quizzical look many times. He's having to have a stern word. Ma Long has really, really impressed me this week. He's in great form. So Tsin, with that little bit of a disappointment from yesterday, and beaten by Wang Lichin, and nobody expected and forecasted that. But look at these youngsters. They are now at least within touching distance at 2-3. Here comes the start now. I, 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 <laughs> I wouldn't give away a four point and go down 5-9 <laughs> or something like that. Yeah. Because now they really have to be sharp. Right, here we go. Sixth game. You beauty. You told us that you knew these guys. Unbelievable. He's the he's the finisher. Next yeah. Great reaction and super shots. The production here in Rotterdam is fabulous. Well done, team. Absolutely beautiful reactions. Look at this. Did you say five nine to whom? You're talking about Korea, of course, weren't you? A good start. And Kim so, you know, he scored two great points. Eh? One cross, one down the line, and that's exactly what he needs for his confidence. Now they've got the service. Well, he's okay. They're both playing really, really well now. Oh, really? Isn't that extraordinary? I think they, they at least, I don't know, I don't have it in my head exactly, but four or five times they've scored that exactly on that spot, you know, short against Kim in Sook's backhand. So. Two all. Two, three. 
Maybe there's a bit of nerve on both sides. I've seen missed two of, uh, too many of those. Didn't see a great deal of action on it. Maybe it was coming back into his body a little bit. Two, three. Again, you see two great shots on Kim in Sook, then now he's been victimized almost three and three of the le of the last uh, um, four points you know where he's not really been, been into the game and concentration confidence execution three, four. well his partner then puts a backhand into the net so it's tight it's tense it's close 3-2 China but at 3-4 uh, in the sixth it's still anybody's and the crowd did their job in getting Korea into this position they're trying to do the same again oh, how clever so Tin just a little forehand flick he held on held on held on and then shoop, delivered yeah and that's just to to cover up where the what kind of direction you you will will you know give you kind of thing so in the last last second you show direction and the pen holder has had a good game no a good match should I say Ooh, now after taking a 2-0 lead the Koreans find themselves 6-3 behind So it's six Wait, one in terms of the recent exchanges. Two, four, six. The quality of plays just dropped down a little bit because I think there's a tenseness, there's a tightness in the air. They're really, really worried both sides. There's not the freedom that we had earlier. Now you, you're getting worried about exactly at service return. You're missing a few points, and double is a difficult game. Four, seven. Marlong aimed at the body. Let's see, right here. Yeah. Oh, and it uh, held up. Stopped up and just went the other way a little bit hard to get the, the movement on the ball to go that way. He must have been moving away from it very, very heavily. Left. Four, seven. Four, seven. They're back really in great control once more. Seven, mm -hmm. five. Okay. Well, the champions are Chen Chi and Wang Hao from Yokohama and these guys really would love to take it this time round but the Koreans still with a little bit of hope at 7-5 oh, uh, he went for broke five. there did Young sick and he really probably wished he hadn't not well, in a good position, well, was it? No, it was the right thing to do, but he just, his footwork wasn't uh, what wasn't there, and just waited for the ball and didn't time it perfectly. Both both teams very tense. And Kim Min-sok around the corner and actually a good good backhand flick, and he had problems with that particular shot all the time. Susin. But now comes trouble for the Koreans because uh, exactly here they had problems. No, uh, yeah, well forecast six nine, two points for a place in the final. We've been here before, but on that occasion it was nine seven. Now it's six nine. Uh -huh, okay, 7-9 now. Are we going to be seeing a, yet another Korean miracle? Yeah, 
this this particular order of play now coming up with Susin serving on uh, on Jung Jung Sik has been still fairly okay. So if they can if he can control Susin service then Fantastic, absolutely superb rally. It's bounced up, bounced up on Jung Sik a little bit. Fortunately, you know, the spin really grabbed that one and just came to his body and couldn't get his little bit long back and technique in order. There are three match points now in favor of Marlong and Tutin. We've been really royally entertained here in Rotterdam. And now Susin releasing just a little bit longer services, which is tactically smart because Jung Sik is very, very good over the table surface, a little bit weaker, and the ball comes out. That's it, the match is over. A little bit of a damp squid at the end, a little bit of anti-climax, but I must say, it was a fascinating battle. We thought it was all over after the first two. The Koreans suddenly got some wind into their sails and showed a little bit of the class that we've been seeing throughout the week. But ultimately, Ma Long and Su Tim just proved a little bit too strong, and that really was a fascinating battle. OK, Guo Liang marches forward with a little bit of a smile there. But, uh, wow, what great entertainment. Two or three of the best rallies we've seen all week. Yeah, and I'm happy uh, about that, that the, the, the Koreans really showed that they could play on this level. And, and if I were in the Korean Table Tennis Association and I was feeling these are two of the young players that will be with us for quite some time, they kind of establishing themselves on, on, on the world, at the world level. And um, I thought they came through. They, they played, they showed that they can play on this level, and I think they will have a good double pair for, for a long time to come. And uh, obviously, Susin Malong, at times, maybe a few mistakes that we haven't seen before. Maybe pressure will do that to you, but um, of course, they are as sharp as anything you can find out there in doubles because of their movement, because of their abilities. And we've seen some acrobatic shots there, and really tells you what kind of power they possess in terms of uh, leg strength and upper body strength in order to pull those shots on the table. It's almost like this um, acrobatic shots are going to carry them a long way, if you put it like that. Well, you just saw that uh, background shot of Guo Liang. He doesn't get excited that often, but there were moments there when he really, really did... Uh, did get really, really out of his chair and pumped the air. That, but the boy in shot there, Thutsin, you have to say thanks and well done to him because after the disappointment, disappointment of losing in the, in the singles yesterday, he, uh, he's fought back, he's come back, and it only needs uh, millimetres of good fortune occasionally to make the difference. It was a fabulous match.